No welcome the traitors. Charles No Mercy bans Haz and Meg to pre-funeral reception at Palace. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle appear to have been uninvited from Queen Elizabeth II's pre-funeral reception at Buckingham Palace, according to a new report from the UK's Telegraph. The couple received an invite to the grand event, hosted by King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla, for world leaders and foreign royals. But they have apparently now been informed that only working British royals are welcome. Per the outlet, it remained unclear why Harry, 38, and Markle, 41, were ever invited, with royal aides insisting they are not expected to attend. Sources told the outlet that the pair appeared baffled by the apparent mix-up. President Joe Biden and French President Emmanuel Macron are among hundreds of heads of state who will descend upon London before the monarch's state funeral on Monday. The Queen died September 8 at age 96 following a historic 70-year reign. Markle and Harry have been in the UK for some time, mourning the Queen alongside Prince William, Kate Middleton and the rest of the royal family. The pair has also reconnected with the British people during public outings. Markle and Harry notably raised eyebrows when they were spotted holding hands at the monarch's procession on Wednesday, because, again, they are no longer working members of the royal family but also, because their display of affection was a breach of protocol. Harry and Meghan are grieving relatives and are under no obligation to follow royal protocol, body language expert in Baal Honigman told the British newspaper The Daily Express in defense of Harry and Markle. The parents of two, who share son Archie, three, and daughter Lilibet, 15 months, gave up their royal duties as Duke and Duchess of Sussex in January 2020 due to ongoing issues such as media scrutiny and inner turmoil within the family. They have since relocated from England to Markle's native California. Confusion over Harry and the former Suits actress attendance at the pre-funeral reception follows mixed messaging about the prince's right to wear a military uniform throughout his visit back home. Someone close to the royal family has said that nothing has changed between Prince Harry, Prince William and King Charles III following the death of Her Majesty the Queen. The three have had an undeniably strained relationship in recent years, but have united in their grief following the Queen's death. Princes Harry and William were seen together for the first time in public in years last weekend as they, alongside their wives Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, stepped out together to view people's floral tributes to the Queen. Prior to this, King Charles III voiced his love for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in his first speech addressing the nation as the new monarch. He said, I want to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. But, things might not be as amiable as it seems as a source close to the royals has alleged that everything will go back to how it was once the Queen's period of mourning is over. They told the Daily Beast, nothing has really changed. The expectation is that once the mourning period is up, Harry and Meghan will go back to California, he will publish his book, and the family here will be left to pick up the pieces. OK. Have approached Harry's reps for comment. Their comments come after Prince Harry appeared to be singled out by the royals after he was forbidden from wearing military uniform for the Queen's memorial services that have taken place, despite having served in the army for a decade. However, he's since been given special permission to wear his uniform tomorrow in a special tribute to the late sovereign.